Yo, 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 boys, what is going on? And welcome back to the channel once again today, where we are going to be playing with the newest and the most improved version of Packer Bitch Bam. Now, this is a bit of a slightly different version. You know, we got the Void in here, we got the Evil Wizard in here, we got a lot of different cards in here. But I've been seeing so much Packer on ladder, it's actually ridiculous. Everyone, the, I don't know, people be playing Packer like it's um, Golem nowadays. I don't know what's going on, what's in the air, but people love it. And, you know, there has to be some, some magic in it, because people have been using this card flat out since that nerf that came out um, a little while ago go if you guys remember we got a bit of a range nerf or not nerf buff my bad um so there must be something good about this boys and we're using what is probably the best version of this card you know we got the void in here which is probably the most boosted card in the game in my opinion i think the card is desperate screaming for a nerf and um, but they don't want to nerf it and that's just the way supercell works so we respect that and then um, we also have the evil wizard in here being one of the best evils in the game right now and then obviously just the power of the pe of the pekka running up the back line it will be a wonderful wonderful time for us so he goes a bit, little too far over for his um tombstone but we should be able to clean this up pretty nicely if we can get that up we'll go for the zap here went for a little bit early i kind of thought my ghost would hit onto it but earlier than it did but it didn't he wasn't feeling up to it you know the mission was a bit too much for him but we take that left tower and i might get ultra aggressive here and just go for this right tower while we're at it and we can get off to a really really nice start here and we're going to get the pack onto the king tower as well we should connect that battle ram really nice boys we're off to a really good start this guy can't keep up with us so far so we're gonna have the evil wizard here jam might be a bit of a waste of an evil to some of you guys probably could have defended this a bit cheaper but it just kind of gets rid of that and we didn't even need to he didn't even use the um the shield i kind of thought that would use shield but that was a really nice place one um, you know i i am by no means like very experienced this card i don't even have evil wizard in my on like my on my account actually you know i'm doing this in a challenge of course just to kind of use the cards because a lot of some my, my void's quite low i don't have some of these um legendaries maxed out so it makes my life a little bit easier but um trust me boys this deck is still just as good with or without the challenge um you, you know it, it works just as well on ladder so um we're just gonna go in hopefully we can pick up the three crown here now this guy's gonna we probably should Went void there. That would have been the better play, and um, would have definitely been smarter. But we can just push in with the battle ram here in front of the minions. We have pretty pretty big attack here going to the right side. Even if he goes mini pack, he can't defend it. Oh, he did defend it. Well, that was a really nice. Didn't he? I didn't even realize he had the Valkyrie. I'm not gonna lie. Never mind the Evo. He's played it like twice now, and I I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but we just we just push it up. We go for the mini or the not the mini pack. The the big pack here. Big mama pack off the um, left side. We will go for the void here onto the hog. Get that out of the way. Uh, no damage taken and that's gonna be quite nice. We're gonna take that left tower while we're at it just for the fun of it And that will be it for game number one boys. I hope maybe we can get this three crown here at the very end I doubt it, but maybe um, no, we're not going to so we'll hop straight into game number two And yes guys, we are back for game number two and as I, as you guys can see I, I haven't discussed yet But we are using the evil wizard and we're using the evo uh, battle ram in here now You can sub out for the evo zap if that's something you want to do. I just think the evo um Wizard's gonna be get more, or the Evil Wizard and the Evil Battle Ram, we get more value than the Evil Zap. But I do fully agree, Evil Zap is a very, very strong Evo. So if that's one of the ones you have instead of the other two, um, I will use it all you want. I would probably go for the um, if you if you want to if you have all of them, you want to get picky. I would probably go for the Zap over the uh, Battle Ram if you want to fit it in. I think I would keep the Evil Wizard in, but that's really up to you guys. You know, let me know what you decide to do if you do use the deck. What way do you prefer running it? How, like, it's, it's quite interesting because there's so many different ways of running these decks and you know whenever you use different evos you can really um you can really adjust it to your kind of skill set what you find better what you like like more in the game what you dislike so that's one thing i quite like about the evos like that's like one of the only good things that are nice with the evos you can turn a deck that suits someone else's play style very well and change it to suit your play style just by adjusting the evos in the deck not so much for decks like this, you know, where it only, only has like three options out of two anyway. But more for, for decks like um like Logbeat now. Logbeat has so many different um so many different variations, it's ridiculous. Uh, so we got a pretty nice catch there on that. We get the we take out the little prince with the void. We managed to get the evil skeletons down with the um with the with the zap and we do have our evil wizard here and um, this peck is going to take it down this guy's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at us and um, we do go in for our battle ram a little bit early we're going to get caught by that log which will stop it getting to the tower but the barbs might still get a few hits off which will be more than nice because barbs very well could take this tower no nah, no nah, they're not going to but we're going to get a lot of damage done he was very very desperate there for uh, quite a while and um, it, it was i was starting to feel quite bad but i might go in for yeah we'll just go in for the peck here why not this is what you do a peck you just Keep recycling them, keep it going, keep the pressure high, and that's the easiest way of playing the game. Um, the people I see on ladder just be cycling in the back every time, so... <clears throat> 
you know, there must be some kind of magic to it. This guy's going to go for his Tezza. He's not going to manage to save his little prince again. And he's going to go in for the ability, quite a bad ability in my opinion. And um, he's just going to get taken out. It's a bit random, but <clears throat> each to their own. Uh, let me go for the bandit here. This will be quite a bad bandit. He's not going to get the charge. He's going to go for the rocket. He is playing this, like, log beat. Well, not log beat. He's playing, like, rocket cycle, which is quite boring. So I would like to win this game because... We don't respect these decks, boys. These decks are the these decks are what's wrong with this game sometimes, <laughs> in my humble opinion. Let's go for the void here. Just give her this little prince nice and early. No reason why not. We'll go for the evil wizard here, and we should be able to take the that the, the, um, the game here. I would be very shocked if we can't. I'm actually just going to apply some pressure. We'll go up the opposite lane as well with the battle ram. See what he decides to do about that. We can go in for our zap here. We're going to catch them all, though we're not. I am not high skilled enough apparently. Um, very nice. My, my, my life's just great. Um, so we'll go for the back here in the center. Hopefully it doesn't go left. Go left, go left. Nice, okay. I was worried he was going to go over to the right there. Now I'm expecting this guy to go for a rocket here. Maybe not though. He might not. Um, we'll see. He's going to go in. He's going to manage to save his little prince. So good, good for you. And we will go in for our wizard here behind. Just to make my life a little bit easier. And we'll keep up the pressure. Because this guy is going to... He's defending quite well to be fair. It's just kind of throwing after an out of spot. It's going quite well for him, so we can't complain with that. Now, I'm actually just going to push up this right lane. If he's going to go in for all his first Tesla that far over, we can probably punish this a little bit. And we need to try and punish it, because that's going to be a bit of a misplay of him. Now, we're going to go for the Pekka here in the center. Um, he's going for his little Prince up the right side. We don't even need to void that. We can leave it. And we'll go for the... We don't need to go for anything, actually. Unless he goes in for his, um, for his Guardian, then we'll go in for the uh, Void. Actually, we probably do. We'll, we'll go for the zap just because we don't have any charge on our, um, on our, oh no, what's it called? What, what, why am I, why am I struggling so much? On our dagger duchess, that's it. Never see dagger duchess anymore. I don't even know why I have it in this deck, to be honest, but I do. Um, so we need to keep the pressure up here because this guy has the spells in the late game that's going to really make our lives harder. Now, if we go for the battle ram here, we're going to go for the wizard. We need to throw everything down here because this is going to be a bit of a struggle as we get on. And we need to get this out of the way quicker because they, we do not want to mess with this rock guy's rockets in the late game. That's not how you win games. <laughs> so we need to we'll go for the bandit here. Bandit should jump. No, that's not nice for us at all. And he is going to have hell spawn reading down on us. So let's go for a wizard here in the center. And there he goes. He's going in for the rockets. Now we need to go for the Pekka here. And um, we just need a breakthrough, but I just can't. It's so difficult when I was against these decks. But I mean, this is what his whole deck is designed to do just hold people off. Which, oh, he goes for a bad Tesla. Hold on, this could be it. We just need to keep the pressure high. Band is on the tower. Band takes one, two, and three, and four. That's very nice, boys. And yes, boys, quite a nice win there in game number two after a pretty, pretty meta deck, to be fair. Um, you know, that deck, well, it's not, it's not as rampant as it was now, but last season, oh my, the amount of times I played that deck, I never want to see it again. <laughs> so it's nice to beat it um, and show that this deck can still compete with decks like that. Um, the probably, I probably could have played that better. I probably could have been a bit more proactive with my um, Julian pressure as well as just going for the... Yeah, so I was just going for my pack because I probably need to cycle my pack in the back a bit more, make up a bigger attack. I was just worried about leaving myself open to a princess. So there's a lot of issues I could have had in that game. Um, I had in that game, I probably could have improved on, made the game a little bit easier for myself. But we, at the end of the day, we still got the win. That's what really matters. So hopefully we can keep it all going, keep this keep this fast going to game number three and pick up another win. It'd be nice to finish today 3 0. So hopefully we can do that for you boys. And um, so my wizard is going to take out that Dark Goblin, which is quite nice. And I don't really think I really need to defend this. I'll take a little bit of damage, maybe like 2 or 300 but nothing too much and um, so I'm not too worried okay cool we take 104 damage I think or whatever I don't know comparing to the other side but I think it's more than that I'm pretty sure that that right tower has been touched um, but waffle aside so wait, this guy's gonna go for his fireball quite an aggressive fireball That's seven extra spend out of him right there so we can probably get something going here honestly we might just go banded the right lane and try and force some more electric out of him and then we can pack it the left in. yeah we can pack into this and um, it'd be quite a cheap packer for us considering he's just had to spend a lot of electric seven and five and all i spent was six so well, what's that what's what's he spent like 13 or something and i spent six so i'm up to uh, quite a quite an advantage here now we'll go for our um evil wizard here in case he goes for his phoenix and then we also have our void in hand okay no he's got a lot more electric than i thought he did but we can we should clean that up quite easily i think uh, we'll go for the evil wizard here and is that oh my god oh i went for the void and i missed because of my evil wizard's ability that's so funny <laughs> why, why have i done this um, okay so don't do that boys we just threw away our elixir lead just like that and this this, this what's this recruit doing on the left here get down please please just get down i do not need this in my life um okay so that's not ideal we kind of have a bit of a waste of elixir there and um, we could have played that a lot better but it is the way it is you know sometimes it works out a little bit unfortunately for us and that is one of the situations where it did now we'll go for a pack here to counter this again 
he's going to go for his Goblin Barrel, uh, which should clean this up, no problems at all. And we hopefully we'll play this a bit better this time. I might actually start, I might push up the left with the Evil Ram. Um, actually, no, we won't. We'll just go in for the Wizard and keep this, keep it clean, keep it nice and easy, and make sure we defend. I don't, you do not want to take risks against uh, the Evil Recruits. The evil Recruits will do a lot more damage than you think, and next of all, your tower's dropped and you have nothing to do. Uh, so, we'll go for the Battle Ram now. He's going to get his, uh, my prince, Wizard's going to be behind, which is quite nice. He's going to get his Prince down. Sorry, I was absolutely tripping over my words there. He misses my wizard, and I think that might cost him the game. Uh, to be honest, we go for the bandit here, and uh, yeah, I think, I think that's going to be game over for him. I, I can't see a way he defends this um, with, after missing that. So, you know, that's a good game for game number three as well, boys. And yes, guys, this is the deck that we did run for today's video, and as you've seen, it works out so well. The deck is so strong, so versatile, and has so much good defense all around it. And if you play, the more you play this deck, the more you get used to it, the easier it becomes, because I always find Packer Bridge Slam is a deck that you know, it, it takes a lot of skill, it takes a lot of practice, and you need to know your interactions. This deck is a little bit more forgiving than traditional pack of Bridge Slam, just with the Void and with the Wizard. You can kind of get away with some some more, so I think this deck might be a bit of an easier version, but it, it works so well if you have these Evos in. And yeah, boys, if you did enjoy today's video, do be sure to hit like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all tomorrow for a brand new video, and peace out.